Florida a and University's supporters recently turned Florida State's capital orange and green as they showed their support during FAMU's day at the Capitol. Leaders of the FAMU National Alumni Association expect to see that kind of enthusiasm when they gather for their national convention in Fort Lauderdale. I think that giving back is number one. As you know, the state of Florida has cut university budgets across the board. The president needs money. The university needs money. This will give us an avenue to come in, raise some money, particularly for recruitment and scholarship so that we can help the university uh, go forward. Gregory Clark is the first vice president of the Alumni Association and a convention chair. The National Alumni Office is hearing from alumni eager to support the university as it searches for a new president and addresses the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools' decision to place FAMU on probation after the death of a FAMU drum major. This is the most active I've seen alumni in years in light of what has happened and going on with, with the band and sax. Clark says last year's town hall meeting with university leaders was popular and it will be held again on the last day of the convention on Saturday, May 18th. The conference starts May 16th. What we want our alumni to, to know is that if you truly care for FAMU and you want to be part of the decision-making process, it is, ex it is extremely important that you meet us uh, May uh, uh, in Fort Lauderdale for our annual meeting. Alumni Association President Tommy Mitchell Sr. is looking forward to alumni discussing a strategic plan at the convention. This is also the first year FAMU's band alumni organization will join the national convention and a special event is also planned for young alumni. In Tallahassee, I'm Kathy Yvette reporting.